Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. We got our Thursday Night Football, it's NFL. October 17th, we got our Broncos going to New Orleans, play the Saints. Uh, we got something called the reverse dog happening right now. Broncos opened up as the underdog, plus three and a half. The total was 42 and a half, and uh, plus 150 for the Broncos, minus 180 for the Saints. That, uh, that flip-flopped. You can find it at uh, minus three. Best start is minus two and a half, FanDuel. Um, you obviously want to take the two and a half. You want the lower number. Uh, total went down as well. It's 37 now, 37 and a half. And uh, that plus 150 went minus 150, minus 140, some books, 42. But yeah, there's, uh, there's key reasons why I always look at the line movement and show you the line movement first. It, uh, Helps you figure out what's going on in the game. And first, I'll tell you who who the books are wanting to win, or, or not wanting to win, but saying he's going to win, uh, as well as the amount of points that are going to be scored. If you ever notice, they're usually pretty close. And then, uh, especially big slates, you can look into this, and you look for line movement just like this to figure out which game to look into because there's uh, key reasons why this happened. I mean, I know off the rip that, I mean, final injuries, uh, injury report's not out, but, uh, like, Derek Carr's hurt, but they kind of, they knew that he didn't play last week, but Olave got hurt, uh, Rashid Chahi got hurt, you know, uh, there's, just, there's a couple of key defensive players got hurt, uh, one of the safeties got concussions, a bunch of them. But uh, those are the reasons why both teams been off to a slow start. But, uh, yeah, I got a little breakdown. Let's get into that game in a second. We got Broncos. Sean Payton's the coach. Three and three record. Uh, Saints, two and four. Saints started off hot. They won the first two. Lost the, last, the next four. Sean Payton, coach of the Broncos, used to be coach of the Saints for like 15 years. They won a Super Bowl. Uh, it's his first game back, so should be a little situation. Uh, Dennis Allen, the Saints' new coach, he used to work under Sean Payton. Uh, Dennis Allen's also a defensive-minded coach, so keep that in mind. We got two two rookie QBs. Broncos got Bo Nix uh, and, and Saints. Bo Nix is the starter. Been the starter for Broncos. Uh, Rattlers, Spencer Rattler, I think that's his name. Uh, he's the backup QB, but he's been starting last game and this game because uh, Derek Carr is hurt. So two rookie QBs going at it. Both teams have been doing horrible Thursday night football. Broncos lost three straight. Uh, Saints lost five straight. So... Primetime game on Thursday, not doing well. Both teams, uh, slow starts. They haven't been good. Uh, slow start starts meaning beginning of the games, first two quarters and shit. Uh, both teams got really good kickers. You know, shitty teams have a good kicker. It makes sense, right? Only thing they get is field goals. Uh, Broncos got Lux. He's been 13 for 14. He used to be a saint, so... A little history right there, too. And then uh, Saints got this guy, Groupie. Group? Groupie. He's uh, perfect for the year, 10 of 10. Uh, bunch of injuries. This that one's been up there. I'll slowly slide it. But yeah, a lot of injuries. Up to the second, third string. Uh, centers. Right guards, like the whole O lines are messed up. Saints got not only offensive players, big key wide receivers, but they also and they quarterback. 
they got some defensive plays out as well, too. Uh, Broncos got a pretty good defense. They blitz 45% of the time. The second in pass rate, uh, pressure, third in sack rate. Uh, they got two guys. They got a bunch of guys. Zach Allen, uh, Jones, Cooper's got four and a half sacks. This guy, Nick Benito, he's on a four-game sack streak. You got Jones, the safety. He leads the team in tackles. Uh, jump into the the offense. Jump into the offense. Uh, slow start. Slow bad starts. Uh, there's been a couple games where they have had zero points going to halftime. So uh, uh, they don't use their tight end much. Their running backs weak. Coming off injury a few years ago, Williams never really been the same. Um, wide receivers have no speed. Uh, do have this is I'm going this is for the Broncos. Do have one good wide receiver, Sutton. His name's Sutton. Uh, they're thirty first in the league in third down conversions. Um, they do got this running back. They he's a rookie. Estime is his last name. Uh, there's no lines out for him. Uh, last game, he only played like three or four plays. He had a little, they're not explosive plays, but it looked like he had a little a little spark and a little, a little gas in the tank. Um, if they put him in the game, they'll drop some lines and I'm going to jump on him. Uh, so... Pay attention, I'll drop in the community. So all you gotta subscribe, turn on the notifications. Um what else? What else? Bo Nix, uh he's good when he's running up tempo, like two minute drill, no huddle type shit. He did that in the fourth quarter last game. He had over two hundred yards. The whole game he played like shit. They running no no huddles. And uh, he had like 200 yards. Uh, his completion percentage was way up. Um, he runs a lot of screen passes. The, 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 the Knicks, he's uh, for the year, 61 completions, five touchdowns, five interceptions, 180 rushing yards. Uh, Sutton, the wide receiver, 21 catches. 277 yards. We got, uh, I'm going to jump on to the Saints. Saints defense. They're last in the league. They're allowing 400 yards per game. Their run D is poor, allowing 5.2 yards per rush. Pass D, they're 29th in the league. They got no pass rush. They've been missing tackles. Uh, they got 21 completions for 20 yards or more they allowed. <clears throat> they haven't been able to finish games. They've been up and, uh, and they just blow the game. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Bo Nix. He, uh, this is for the Saints still, but Bo Nix, he struggles against uh, against the Blitz. And man, man on man coverage. So that's what the Saints need to do. Uh, they got to put a spy out there too because Bo Nix will run. So they should do a couple little adjustments and maybe have a better game since he's not that good himself. Uh, he's still young though. I don't mean it like that. We have a rookie against rookie. Speaking of rookie, the the rookie for the uh, the Saints. He ran 12 bootlegs last game. It's basically when you back up, your quarterback backs up, and he just hooks a little bit so you don't stay in the pocket, and he gets a little – he's not running, but he just gets outside the pocket to make a little play. I guess make, uh, you know, linebackers come towards him. He does a little check down or something. I don't really know. But uh, 11 of them was, was to his right, and the defense is left. So look forward to uh, Zach Allen, Nick Benito, the guys I mentioned earlier. They're on the left side of their defense. 
uh, one's an outside linebacker, and then, and Allen's the uh, the uh, drawing a blank, the line right there, the defensive end. So they're gonna get a sack. Mark my words. All right, I got a few play props. Get into them. Finish showing you the screen. All right, first up, uh, I went with Kamara under 67 and a half. I wish I would have got it higher. Uh, I think I'm oh, actually saying it opened at 68, so. But uh, under 67 and a half rushing yards. The last two games, he's gone way under. Uh, I took him the other last week or the week before for receiving yards. And um, I just watched him play. One of the games ended and it was on. And he looked like sluggish and no energy. And I don't know if that's going to be a repetitive thing. But, you know, uh, Denver's got a decent defense. And uh, we're only getting further into the year, so it's not like he's going to improve. You know what I mean? He's getting more wear and tear. He's top more tired. You can kind of see the decreasing. But uh, as well as they're overusing him and everything else. But uh, he's failed to exceed 69 and a half rushing yards in 13 of his last 17 games, averaging 58. So, uh, I mean, they ain't the greatest against the run, but they're not the worst. Um, yeah, I just, you know, hopefully uh, the Broncos get ahead and the Saints end up having the pass anyway. But, uh, yeah, under. Let's get it. Alvin Kamara. Patrick Wilson Jr. I just realized I picked all Saints. Uh you know what it was? I missed a couple of lines. They moved up three or four or five, five uh, yards for the Broncos that uh, that I liked. Uh, so I'm not going to take them five yards later than what they opened at. But uh, Cedric Wilson receiving yards over 19 and a half. No, it don't look good. But remember, Rashid Shahid's out and Olave's out. Uh so he's filling their spot. Uh, they got hurt last game. One of them got hurt. I don't know exactly. I don't know if both of them got hurt in the same game. One was hurt already, and then one got hurt last game. But uh, he went over this. Uh, one of them was 25-yard reception. I guess he's in that, you know, that out route. But uh, I expect him to go over this. It's so number climb too, 16 and a half. It went to 19 and a half, and then it went down to 18 and a half. Uh, I played it on FanDuel. You can get it on DraftKings at 18 and a half right now. It just went down a couple of minutes ago. But I, I also believe he's gonna he's gonna get way more than that. They got 24 and a half at plus 130. 29 at plus 170, uh, 40, 39 and a half at plus 350. So that's a normal receiver, you know what I mean? 40 yards, 45 yards, a couple go routes. Uh, you're going to sprinkle on something. 60 plus is uh, 59 and a half is plus 1100. But uh, yeah, so let's get it. Cedric Wilson, I want the easy one, 19 and a half. Uh, 18 and a half. Tom Johnson receiving yards over 24 and a half. Minus 142. Uh, it's 155 in DraftKings. They started getting in the ball. He's uh, easily cleared this the last two games. Definitely expect him to get some touches and uh, and go over this. Uh, Broncos overall, they're pretty good at receiving yards. Where the hell did they go? The tight end position, ranked 17th. So, yeah, he's been getting a couple of receptions, a couple of targets. Come on. 
catching the ball. Last two games, 100% average yard per reception. Yeah, so let's get it. What's the inside side? Come on. He's exceeded 25 and a half yards and four of his last five at home, averaging 30. I went with the other tight end, Forrest Moreau. Uh, he's more of a blocking tight end. He got his receiving yards 10 and a half. It also climbed late, late to the ball game. Uh, a couple games ago, I said, you guys been watching. I was talking about these two guys, and I was juggling. I didn't know which one to play. They've cashed both times since then, um, especially with this rookie QB in there. It's the easy plays, you know, the check downs, that type of shit. Uh, third downs, shorter plays. What's the, they're both, uh, they can catch. Uh, two for two, two for two the last two games. You could do as long as reception. They got it at like seven, but fuck it. I'll be. Ten and a half. He's gotta go over it. He had one reception. I mean, he don't have to, obviously, but uh, hopefully he does. All right. If you could like the video, new viewers hit that subscribe button. Just turn on the notifications. It's where you get all my plays, my live bets. Uh, I used to in the beginning of the video have to retype all the picks I did. I started using a bet tracker about a week ago. I stopped a while ago because it used to automatically track it, but now you got to enter it manually. So that's why I stopped putting it in the video. But uh, you can always check it out. Action Network, A. Lorino 83. Uh, yeah, let's get it. Ace Money to Name. Oh, that's today. Game paper to game. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you.